Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I'm just randomly starting an art vlog today because I've just had yesterday arrive a hobby craft parcel and I'm just gonna go through everything that I've bought basically. I just thought I'd start the vlog now. So when I'm filming this, I actually got married like two and a half weeks ago. Can't believe it's gone by so quickly, it's just crazy. But basically throughout August and a few months before, I've been just so busy, I've had so much going on. I've not had time to like properly get back into my art channel and like properly focus on my art either. I've been just very demotivated. I've been just kind of doing what I have to do and I've not been in a very creative mood but since coming back to work after my wedding I've actually I'm super motivated to get on with Christmas things which I know it's early it's it's the end of August right now and I know that seems early to start thinking about Christmas things but I guess when you're a small business and or any type of business and you're you sell like Christmas themed items around Christmas time and stuff you'd have to start thinking about it pretty early and I've been obsessed at the moment with looking through Pinterest and like looking at all like the different creative things you can make around Christmas time and last year at Christmas I basically I made greetings cards and like with my drawings on I did like a stag a squirrel and like stuff like that I did, like greetings cards gift tags that kind of thing and I've still got quite a few left over from last year because I did order them in bulk so I didn't want to do anything like that again so I've kind of been in like a very creative like crafty type mood so I think this year I'm gonna go down a different route at Christmas and be making more like craft based things rather than my actual drawings and stuff which I will still be doing drawings obviously like my pet portraits at Christmas but like for the Christmas themed items I think I'm just gonna do like more crafty things and yeah just something really different and just do something that I actually want to do this year just but obviously I wanted to do the drawings last year but I'm not in the mood to do that kind of thing at the moment so I'm just trying to do something that I actually like desperately want to do at the moment and yeah just see how it goes really so I did do a mini hobby craft order with some bits to get me started because I'm actually going to have like a hobby craft trip getting some crafty bits in October I think when they bring out in store most of their Christmassy bits but I did just do like a small order online just to kind of get me going because I just I wanted to start crafting a few bits so I'm going to go through with you what I've ordered it's in this huge box, but I haven't ordered that much really. They're mostly small things. I don't know why they put them in such this gigantic box. But I'm just gonna go through with you what I have bought. So I bought two of these, because they only had two of them in stock, but I will have to get some more, but they only had two in stock, so I ordered two. And like a little, Loki, come on like a little wooden hanging decoration with paw prints on so I thought these were quite cute and what I'm gonna do Loki oh, seriously he's literally got inside the box with all my stuff come on get out of there yeah and what I thought I could do with these is maybe paint them white or something and then I can put like the pet's name on them they could be like Christmas tree decorations and put maybe some ribbon and some like beads on the on the string and stuff like that maybe just like decorate it up make it look cute but they'll just be quite a cute like Christmas decoration so I do a lot of pet related items anyway so I thought that'd be quite a good idea so I did buy two of those I got a pack of little wooden beads these are just like plain natural wood kind of Loki they must think these are like some sort of treats or toys for them <laughs> but yeah so I can either paint these and put them onto the string or put them on like this I don't know yet I'll have a little play around but I thought they were quite cool and I got some kind of like thin hessian ribbon which I could maybe use for the ribbon to tie on this or I'll use some red ribbon or something I don't know yet I'm just gonna have like a, a play around see what I can come up with but I got a roll of that and then I also had this like idea that I saw that was inspired by something I saw on Pinterest but obviously I'll make it my own obviously but it involved these twigs so I will show you later on in the video when I make them I mean it might not go to plan it might turn out awful but yeah I got these oh, it's not, yeah wooden twigs and I haven't opened this up but they feel about the right size let me just open it see what they what size they are yeah so they're like this they're about this long they're only small but that is I think about the size that I wanted so that will be perfect hopefully that will work with what I've got in my mind because it's hard when you've got like an idea in your head when you do it sometimes it doesn't quite work but that's all the fun of it I suppose well, I bought one dog lead hook just because I've only got one in case someone orders one so I thought I'd just order another one just in case I get another order 
I also ordered some wooden buttons and these are I think are actually a bit too big than what I wanted them for but I'm sure I'll be able to find some use for these. They're, these were quite cheap anyway so it doesn't matter but I'm sure I'll be able to find another use for these. So they're actually a bit big for what I wanted but when I go to Hobbycraft in October I can pick up some that are the right size. I also bought some wooden gift tags, just some plain gift tags that got the string with them so I can make my own like little gift tags. I did have some that I bought from eBay before but the wood was quite rough so I wanted to get these ones and these ones look just right so I can paint them whatever colour I want and they're a nice smooth surface so I got those. I also got some little silver mini bells. I had kind of a little vision in my head of something at some point that involved these and I also got some like little wooden embellishments because I had like an idea for a sign that's not Christmas related but I thought you can obviously sell them around Christmas time people might buy them as gifts so I bought these like two sets of wooden embellishments and I thought I could paint them and stick them onto a sign that I'm gonna make so I got those they've just got some butterflies flowers and leaves and then I also picked up these ones which are just some little watering cans thought they were quite cute as well I was really looking for some ladybird ones as well but I couldn't find any so I'll have another look when I go into store or maybe like in the works or something like that they might do some ladybird ones but yeah I was trying to look for something like that and then finally the last thing I bought is a garland <laughs> it's like tree like Christmas tree kind of garland and this I'm not actually using as a whole I was going to cut the cut these bits off and use them for something so yeah it involves this twig and these so and I was going to use the buttons for it as well but they're too big so I'll have to think again for that that is everything I bought just quite a few little crafty bits and I'll get back to you maybe in like a few days or whenever I've got some time to sit down and like have a play around with some of this stuff I will film I'll film some clips and show you what I get up to see if my ideas actually work or not <laughs> it's now the next day and yesterday I did end up making a couple of items I'm going to show them to you now so I ended up making this as like a sample with the the um little bone decoration and then I painted some of the wooden beads it's not really focusing on it yeah I painted some of the wooden beads which was quite fiddly and then put this little like hessian bow on it with like a pet's name on and I didn't know I thought these would be quite good for like Christmas tree kind of thing but I wasn't too sure how much to charge for this sort of thing because it's not like a painting of a pet it's just the wording but then obviously I've had to pay for the, for the materials and also I painted this painted the beads and put it all together and everything painted the name on there so it did take a little while to make so I don't know I put a poll on my Instagram asking like how much you would pay for it and the options that I gave on the poll was five pounds seven pounds eight pounds and ten pounds and the it's all quite even I mean there's 11 votes for five pounds 11 votes for seven pounds nine votes for eight pounds and seven votes for £10 so I'm not entirely sure how much to sell them for I'm thinking potentially maybe £7 because if I sell loads of them I can always increase the price but if I don't sell any it's kind of awkward to like reduce the price so I think I might start off with £7 and just see how they go but yeah that is one of the things that I made and then I also made a couple of gift tags but in the same kind of style with the painted beads, the Hessian ribbon and a name. And then I also made another version, which was like with a red bead and a red ribbon. It's not focusing. Yeah, so I made a couple of those gift tags. I don't know how much to sell these for either. I was thinking, because they're gift tags and these gift tags themselves didn't cost too much, the actual wood bit. Um, I might sell these for maybe like £2.50 each, I'm not too sure. But I think I'm going to take some photos of these now and maybe just list them on my Etsy already. I know it's not Christmas yet, I mean these you could use at any time of the year. Or you could use, yeah they're not really too Christmassy anyway. So I feel like I might list them on my Etsy now, see how they go. And then I think I'm going to come up with another idea and start creating something else that I've got in mind. Yeah.
this is kind of what I've come up with at the moment. It's just I've painted these wood pieces um, and painted Mum's garden onto the sign. It's not exactly what I had in mind to be honest. I yeah I kind of had a different vision in my head but I mean this would do for one to sell anyway. I'm sure it will sell but yeah it's not quite what I had in mind so I'm not sure yeah, I'm not sure how to make it exactly how I wanted it. I think I would probably need some other things. So I might have to buy some other bits and bobs to make another similar one. I'll make this one for now, but I do need some other bits for the idea that I actually originally had, but this one will do as one thing. Hi everyone, it's now the next day. So this is how this piece turned out. It's just like a hanging piece with those on it's so much more basic than I had in my head so I think I'll sell this one as it is like this and then I'll remake another one but I need to buy some other bits for it because this isn't quite how I had it in my mind but anyway that's that I'm it's still nice it's still cute but yeah just not exactly what I had in mind so anyway I will sell that one how it is and today basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on my husband's computer and I'm gonna edit and do a voiceover for a video that I actually filmed ages ago it's like a color pencil comparison video um, so I'm gonna do like a voiceover for that edit the video get that one ready to upload and then I'm also gonna film later on um, a tutorial for my YouTube doing like how to draw black fur in pastel pencils and I'm also going to do a white fur version as well because a lot of people said they struggle with black and white fur which yeah I understand why because they're like you think white fur is just white and you think black fur is just black but it's actually got loads of other colors in it and stuff so yeah I'm going to film a tutorial for that as well and then I'll do a voiceover for it like next week or something so I'm trying to get back into the routine of like of uploading um, a video on my art channel every single Sunday because I just yeah I just want to I want to grow my channel and I'm not going to do that by not uploading videos so I just need to get back into it get back into a routine trying to get ahead of myself before I get too busy for around the Christmas period so yeah that is what I'm going to be doing today I will film some clips and yeah <laughs> So it's now the next week and I've, um, I haven't done anything recently that's like Christmassy or like new really, I've just been painting Etsy orders, but I've just painted this little like Christmas pudding because I had these thick wood slices which I haven't been using for anything and I thought I could make some Christmas pudding coasters for Christmas. So I'll put like some thick varnish on them and then these could be used as like drinks coasters. So I thought that was quite cool because they would look quite rustic and cool and they're really, really nice quality wood as well. So yeah, that is my next creation. well this shows up on camera but well yeah I've got a spot there you can see that it's really bad and but that one doesn't hurt or anything and then I've got this spot here where I've got a spot sticker on it so please ignore that if you can I've now pointed out you're going to be staring at it I know but it's one of those painful spots that's under the skin it feels like your chin's out here it feels like your chin's the size of Mars 
and and actually it's so bad that it kept me up in the night because it was so painful it felt like I'd had a tooth taken out and you know you get that like aching throbbing pain like in your jaw it felt like that but it's like just caused by this stupid spot and there's nothing I can do so I've just got a spot sticker on it so it's driving me absolutely crazy so I'm in kind of a weird mood at the moment like I'm feeling really motivated to get everything done and like do new things and like grow my business and all that kind of thing but I'm also not motivated at all it's like a really weird feeling and I think it's because I've got so many things I want to do so many ideas that it makes me feel like overwhelmed and then I'm kind of trying to do them all at once whereas I need to just focus on one thing at a time it's just my life at the moment I've just got so much I want to do but just yeah try I'm trying not to overwhelm myself with all the ideas and everything but yeah today I've got literally so many Etsy orders to get through today and tomorrow I've got about 15 orders that I've got to paint and stuff and because I'm not motivated at all, I thought, what can I do to like keep me entertained while I'm while I'm painting Etsy orders? I've been listening recently to the Harry Potter audiobooks and I've just been craving watching the film. So I'm gonna put the first Harry Potter film on Netflix on my laptop next to me and just kind of have that on in the background at the same time. And then at some point this week I'm also gonna make like Christmas pudding decorations. I've all got my sister to order from me from the work some like little berries and I'm gonna use them to like tie onto them and stuff. So be quite cute so I will show you when I do those. Hi everyone it's now the next day and my spots are 10 times worse. I literally oh I just hate my face right now so I didn't even really want to film but I need to end this vlog today so here I am this is me with the nice spotty chin. But yeah I'm about to just paint some Christmas pudding like hanging decorations so I'm gonna paint them pretty similar to the um I'm going to print them pretty similar to the coasters but just like on a smaller scale and then I'm going to add the like berries and stuff not painting them on I'm going to add them at the top so hopefully they'll turn out okay I'm just going to paint six of them for now and then if they sell well over Christmas time I can just paint some more oh my gosh my cats are like running around like maniacs that's what that noise was I'm still watching through the Harry Potter films. I'm on Prisoner of Azkaban at the moment. I'm about halfway through, so I'm gonna finish watching that while I paint these. Yeah, and I've written a to-do list for today. I'm also gonna film a tutorial for white fur. So I did the black fur one a few days ago and that's uploaded to YouTube now. Um, oh. They just got zoomies really bad. But yeah, I'm gonna film a tutorial for white fur as well today. So I will maybe film a clip of that. Um, what else have I got to do? I then got to edit this art vlog and get it uploaded. Although I really don't know how much I filmed for this because I've kind of filmed little clips over the past two weeks. So I'm kind of just gonna shove it together and hopefully it will make something cohesive. And then I'm gonna also plan out all my YouTube videos for the next month and a half, just so that I'm all like organized and everything. I have painted six of these little Christmas puddings and then I can't finish them yet because I don't have the other bits, they haven't arrived yet. But I've, I'm gonna put some like normal like twine onto it and then some dark green ribbon which will represent like the holly leaves or whatever. And then I've got some little berries coming as well which I'm gonna tie onto it. So I think that will look really, really cute. But yeah, I've just made six of those. I'll see how they sell first before I make any more. And then I've also just filmed a tutorial of how to draw white fur and I am pleased with the drawing but the actual filming of it, it made it look quite brown and I don't know why it was coming up brown. Like you can see where the grey is here, that's what it actually looks like but in the video it looks quite brown so I don't know, I might have to look at it on my computer see if I can edit the lighting a little bit on the video, I don't know. So I'm not sure whether I'm gonna have to refilm that or whether I can get away with it. 
I'm not sure, I'll have to have a look at it and see how we go, but that is that piece for that tutorial, hopefully, if I don't have to redo it. And I'm gonna have to end the vlog here because I need to get it edited so that I can upload it this weekend. Um, as I said, I have no idea how much I filmed because I kind of filmed clips here and there over the past couple weeks where I've been doing like some little Christmassy bits, crafty bits, and just, yeah, I've just been like in a bit of a slump trying to like organize myself. I just got so many things I wanna do, but because there's so many things I wanna do, I end up doing none of them. So that's logic. When I do my main shop for all my Christmas bits, like to make some Christmas stuff, I will do another vlog. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.